The Nomos Tangente launched as one part of a quartet of watches designed by Suzanne Gunter in 1992, marking the beginnings of Nomos Glashütter. Throughout the years, the Tangente has likely become the most recognizable Nomos model, achieving that with the minimum amount of design possible. It has shifted in size and color options, adopted numerous movements, yet its essence has remained unchanged. This is no different in its newest iteration, the Nomos Tangente Blau Gold. Featuring a gold-plated blue dial in two sizes, both fitted with the well-regarded pneumatic in-house caliber. To better understand where the Blau Gold fits into the lineup, it's worth looking at the Tangente family as a whole. On one end, we have the original. 35mm in diameter, yet offering distinctly more wrist presence due to its elongated angled lugs and slab-sided case. The white opaline dial balances the amount of printing and free real estate, with a touch of visual interest and depth offered by the sunken sub-seconds. Powered by the manually wound alpha caliber, this model has been a champion of affordable, original design from any up-and-coming collectors for years. An excellent example of Nomos's consistent design language is the Tangente Update, first released in 2018. At first glance, it's a pretty normal looking Tangente, though. A closer look will reveal a number of small apertures encircling the dial beyond the minute track, upgraded with the pneumatic 6101 caliber. The Tangente Update features a quick set date easily adjusted forwards or backwards, though implemented in an unusual fashion. Rather than using a pointer or a date window, the apertures frame the appropriate date in bold red on either side, standing out against the silver surface of the dial. The newest member of the Tangente family is the aforementioned Blau Gold. And though my German is frankly quite poor, I couldn't help to wonder where the gold part of the name came from. A closer look at the spec sheet revealed the Blau Gold secret, however. Previously featured in a short production run of the Zurich Blau Gold between 2012 and 2015, the blue gold dial returns in the Tagente. While Nomos has made great use of galvanizing treatments for its dials, the brand adds an additional layer in their production, plating the dial blank with gold before further processing. Offsetting the main dial finish is a small seconds at 6 o'clock, and though it features the same color as the dial, its azurage finish changes the way it interacts with light completely. The printing is expectedly minimal, a feat I embrace with open arms, with the only deviation from the white and blue color scheme present in the small pneumatic script hiding just beneath the brand denomination. Talking about a Tangente case in great length kind of misses the point as it's really not the main focus on any model in the family. It's meant to be functional and beautiful without attracting too much attention, just like the rest of the watch. That isn't to say that it's not finished to a high degree, of course, with pleasantly reflective polished surfaces, using basic shapes to its benefit. The Blau Gold offers two size options for its stainless steel case, a 35mm, akin to the original Tangente, and a larger 38.5mm diameter model, while protruding lugs give lug-to-lug -lug measurements of 43.5 and 47.5 mm respectively. Thanks to the slim movement, the steel case-back variant is only 6.7 mm thick, and though a sapphire case-back adds a fraction of a millimeter, it's worth it in my opinion. A worthwhile note is that Nomos calls the 38.5 mm variant the Tangente 39, so don't let that trip you up if you're considering one of these. Apart from the dimensions, the other notable difference between the two is water resistance. Whereas the larger Tangente Pneumatic 39 has a 5 atmosphere rating, the smaller variant is only resistant to 3 atmospheres. Different sizes mean varying lug widths as well. The 35mm goes with 18mm straps, the 38.5mm except 90mm options, and only the 41mm update has the common 20mm spacing. While there's no quick-release spring bars, which would be quite handy for a watch that benefits from changing up the strap, the quality of the factory option might make you wish to stick with it. 
Both sizes of the new Tangent are powered by the DUW3001 pneumatic caliber. Its main claim to fame, of course, is the extraordinary slimness, measuring only 3.2mm in height despite it being a full rotor automatic. It's equipped with Nomos's own in-house escapement, the Nomos swing system, and the expected finishing of a movement originating from Glasshütte. A three-quarter plate covers most of the movement, while a double-sided balance bridge for added robustness is secured with blue screws that contrast nicely against the rhodium-plated elements. The power reserve is on the lower side at only 43 hours, though I'd be more hard-pressed had this been a manually wound movement. The new Nomos Tangente Blau Gold is available now from Nomos's e-commerce platform and authorized retailers, starting from 4,410 Australian dollars. Check out Time and Tide Watches for the full review. Like if you like the video and subscribe for more like this one. Thank <laughs> you.